Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm here with a new video which is a very important topic in the history of education in Pakistan. And basically, the Pakistan education which is based on the policies of education, but uh, uh, when we are talking about the policies, uh, first there is one thing is come on the education system which is the Commission 1959. What was the Commission 1959? What was the what was the purpose of Commission 1959? Though, so I will clear it up today. Uh, so uh, basically, introduction to the Commission. So, uh, introduction first of all, National Education Commission of uh, was adopted by the government on uh, 30 December 1958. This commission was known as a Sharif Commission. Its chairman was Sam Sharif. The main reason was that and the existing system of education was not required to meet the requirement of nation this commission was launched by president muhammad ayub khan on 15 january 15, 19, 1959 the commission submitted its report over 350 pages so what was the objective of commission sir Basically, the objective, first objective of commission was a religious education was made compulsory in this commission. Means uh, the uh, religious, uh, Islamic religious commission, Islamic religious education was very uh, necessary in this commission. Made very necessary in this commission. And second was that uh, the equal expansion for boys and girls means equal education opportunities, equal uh, means uh, expansion for boys and girls. Third one is that training of computer education educated citizen and component competent leadership required for the country means uh, in the education computer knowledge they have to give in, including IT and other technological departments which uh, introduce uh, fourth one was creation of social welfare state and uh, now when we are uh, social welfare state training of scientists engineer and technique technical technicians and uh, to create a sense of unity and nationhood among the people of pakistan sir, and uh, create among the people as a sense of dignity of labor sir, and development of intellectual ability and build the correct of the character and individuals this was the objective now when we are talking about the silent feature of uh, Commission, what was the silent feature? So, silent feature which was first was is that uh, higher education means higher education was necessary in this uh, step. Uh, second was, was vocational education. Vocational education means uh, uh, the uh, like uh, when we are saying that villagers are uh, unadequate, they have to give a vocational education, like they have to provide the machines, swing machines, so like this kind of uh, vocational education. Uh, primary education made compulsory and very necessary. And third one, second, uh, second education also made compulsory and free. Uh, and uh, adult education, adult education including the universities, college, these are all adult educations. Uh, physical education, basically physical education include the primary level and second level. That was the main objective. And finally, religious education. Religious education was very necessary in this step of Pakistan uh, education. And uh, the arts education of children with the disability education of military. Uh,